Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use all of the items that are included in the Artistry Sample Kit. This box includes a little bit of everything of all of their most popular products. And we are going to start out by using Mattify. Mattify is a prep or a matte solution. I'm going to show you how to use it both ways and first we are just going to take our tumbler the little scrubbing pad that come along with the kit put a little dab of the mattify on the tumbler and we're going to scrub away now when i put the water onto the tumbler you saw that it beaded up a little bit if the water is beating up on your tumbler, then your tumbler is not prepped properly. What Mattify does is take all of that surface off. It also takes any oils that may be on that surface so that your paint and epoxy or whatever you may be putting onto your tumbler will adhere to it properly. And as you can see, I'm spritzing water on it to wash it off and that water is staying on the tumbler. That means that your paints and whatever you are using is going to also stick to your tumbler and it is properly prepped. Next, we are going to take a makeup brush to get nice and even coverage and apply our Color Fix paint. This one is Violet. These colors are a paint, primer, and glue all in one. So as you can see, you get excellent coverage on your first coats. Some of the lighter ones do take two coats, but I mean, this is a light color and we got wonderful coverage on that first coat. And I sat that to the side and allowed it to dry, or you can take your heat gun on a low heat setting and dry that a little bit quicker with that as well. So now we're moving in to the Fast Set Epoxy. This is their thick viscosity one-to-one -one ratio Fast Set. I'm going to put 10 milliliters of Part A into a medicine cup. I'm gonna heat that up with my heat gun and then I'm going to take Part B and put 10 milliliters in a separate medicine cup. I'm going to combine them together, stir them, and then pour into that original cup. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But the reason that you do this is that you can get all of the part A and part B mixed together. If you take part A and pour it into B and don't go back into that original cup, you can leave some of that part A behind, causing your ratio to be off. This is not only for artistry epoxy, but this is for any epoxy that you may use. I used to use popsicle sticks to stir my epoxy and it does cause tons of micro bubbles. However, Artistry does include some of these amazing reusable stir sticks in the sample kit. And these are so awesome. It prevents micro bubbles and it also saves you some money because you can just wipe this off with a baby wipe or some alcohol on a paper towel and it's reusable. As I am stirring, I am scraping the sides of that cup, and then once I have mixed for about a minute, I'm going to pour it back into that original cup so I can get all of the extra epoxy that was left over when I scraped it out. Stir it for about another minute or two, and then it is ready to apply to our tumbler. Normally, with any epoxy, I apply straight to my tumbler. I don't allow them to sit in micro bubbles to race to the top. I rely on my torch to pop any that I have created because I am a very faster. <laughs> so I create those myself and then just pop them with a torch. However, if you are using a fast set epoxy, you definitely want to move straight into adding it onto your tumbler and then you can worry about running over with a torch or a heat gun to pop any of those micro bubbles and even that epoxy out. Now, since we are heading into the fall season, I decided to add in some of this amethyst mica powder, also from Colorflex. I did try to stick to the box as much as possible. However, this one was not in the box. I just wanted to make it a little fallish and adding this in completely changed the light and brightness of that violet paint. 
So that is something to keep in mind whenever you are making tumbler designs and you don't have the exact color that you need. You really can manipulate those colors by either mixing your paints or you can even mix in micas or add micas into your epoxy to change the color or the tone of your paints. After I had my epoxy applied, I just popped that onto my turner and ran over very lightly with my torch just to prevent any of my micas from swirling around. I wanted them to stay put where they were. Once that dried for about two hours, yes, I said two hours, this epoxy dries incredibly fast and even after 30 minutes, you can apply a second coat or turn your turners off. So that is a huge plus for me. So after two hours, I grabbed these transfers from Southern Bell Glitter. This is from the Dixie Darlings collection. And I grabbed this big blob of camouflage and leopard print because I am going to want to use the shape tape that is included in our artistry box to do some leopard spots. And I felt like this would just pull everything together with the glitter that we had in here as well. Now the shape tape that comes in this box is a double sided adhesive. This is used for burst tumblers or a lot of people are using it to add fulls to certain sections. I cut this piece of shape tape using some leopard print and I cut it on cardstock setting on my Cricut so it would cut through those first two layers. That way I can remove these spots individually and apply them to my tumbler. Originally, I was going to do the whole backside in this leopard print. However, I did decide to add on some more of those transfers before we added on our spots. Since we are working with really small areas or spots, I just pulled these off by hand and placed them just randomly on the tumbler. Not really filling in areas, I just overlapped some of those transfers and put it over top of those empty purple spots that were left in the background. After I had about half of the tumbler done in spots, I removed that protective layer on top of our shape tape and got it ready to apply our glitter. The glitter that come in our sample box is Oryx. This was a fine cut glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the areas that I have the shape tape and just watch how sticky the shape tape is. It grabs a hold of it immediately. I don't have to rub this glitter in and make a big old mess. It sticks immediately and I can move on to the next section.
Once my spots were complete, I grabbed the glitter glue. I just put a dab of the glitter glue on a piece of paper and dipped the end of my paintbrush in there and just put some brush strokes on the tumbler. You don't need to make this super thick. This glue also is very sticky. It grabs a hold of the glitter really well. So I just went around the whole tumbler until I was happy with all of the areas that I had covered and added on the glitter to those spots as well. Once I finished all of these like glitter spots, streaks, whatever you wanna call them, I allowed this to dry for two hours, brushed off the excess glitter and sealed it twice with a matte clear coat. Once that was dry, then I went in with another coat of the one-to-one -one facet epoxy. After about six hours, I was able to sand this tumbler very lightly and I grabbed this image from Creative Fabrica and picked three color vinyls from Tech Wrap Craft that would match the design on this tumbler. I dealt this green, the rose gold textured vinyl and the purple would just kind of pull everything together and the offsets are 0.025 each. Now this box also comes with a sample set of Artistry's regular epoxy. You will mix that and apply exactly the same as you do the fast set. The only difference is it does take longer to cure and it will take just a bit longer for you to be able to either recoat or of course turn your turners off. Their fast set can be used as a final coat but just for me, out of habit, I always use a regular epoxy for my final coats, and I love Artistries. As you can see, it has a beautiful shine and finish. However, I'm going to show you how to use Mattify to matte this tumbler. You're just going to put the same amount as we used to prep this tumbler on top of your glossy surface and scrub away for about three to four minutes to really get a good matte finish on your tumbler. This does not scratch it whatsoever. It leaves a beautiful matte finish and takes very little effort to do so. This is perfect for men's tumblers or even you can take some vinyl, place that over your glossy epoxied surface, go over it with the mattify solution, and then remove that stencil and you will have a contrast between your matte and your glossy. It's really cool for some leopard spots. Now, the only thing that I did not show in this tutorial, and I hate it because it is one of my favorite products from Artistry, is the sticky situation. That is a hand scrub that will wipe any kind of grime or epoxy paints, glues, whatever, right off your hands in a split second and leave your hands feeling soft and refreshed. I also actually use it to clean my silicone mats and clean off my epoxy bottles from the runs that come down the side and it leaves everything fresh and clean and doesn't leave a sticky residue behind like if you were to use alcohol to clean that up. Now here is this tumbler both ways, glossy and matte. I am going to give one of these boxes away so that you can test out all of these amazing products yourself. So let me know what your favorite is. Do you prefer glossy or matte? And then join the artistry group. I will have their link down below for y'all. There's lots of talented creators in there as well. You can get tons of ideas and inspiration. I will also have this box listed down below as well as everything that comes in it and a link if you would like to try out all of these products for yourself. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.